1973. Tragedy and despair have struck Central Texas. A young college student named Maria Flores is seemingly vanished without a trace. She was last seen near the town of Newt more than two weeks ago. But with no physical evidence, the investigation has stalled. With few leads and even less hope, Maria's younger sister, Ana Flores, and a group of her closest friends set out to find their missing loved one. But any grief or sadness caused by Maria's disappearance would pale in comparison to the agony and despair they would soon discover. What awaited this group of youths was a nightmare beyond belief. The events surrounding Maria's disappearance would be just one of the many bizarre crimes later known as the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. What's up, ladies and gents? I'm your host, Industrial One, and welcome to some gameplay for Texas Chainsaw Massacre. This is the technical test. The game is going to be coming out in August, and this is made by the same developers that made Friday the 13th. So I'm really excited for this. I hope all of you are as well. I'll explain a little bit about the game as we go in. Alright, so for those of you that don't know, Texas, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre is a kind of asymmetrical game where you're going to have three family members going up against four victims. Those family members, I think there's going to be more than what's actually in the technical test, but obviously you've got Leatherface, the cook, the hitchhiker, some of the most famous characters in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre series. The victims, they're not uh, portrayed by anybody in particular, but they each have a set of their own skills to bring to the table so as to help each and every single player escape. This video is going to essentially show how to escape as Sunny. This particular character um, is not very good when it comes to getting lock picks. Certain characters are actually able to pick locks really easy. However, he has a skill that allows him to be able to tell where enemies are. And that is always important if you want to escape. Now, specifically right here, this is the only basement escape. What this is, is you need to find the fuse. The fuse is always on the second floor. Or should I say the fuse is on the first floor. Then the actual fuse box is on the second floor. So you have to take that fuse up to the second floor and you have to uh, do a little puzzle. Once that puzzle is complete, you need to come back down to the basement and then you can escape. That is the only escape so far that I know of that you can do without leaving the house. So the biggest thing you got to worry about is really Grandpa. Grandpa is one of those characters that doesn't move or do anything like that. However, if you are moving when he does his little thing right there, when, he, when he's telling you he's going to be searching, then you'll automatically be known to all of the enemies, all the family. So you got to be careful. Uh, this is not really much of a stealth character, in my opinion, this guy here. Uh, but we do obviously have pretty good stamina and we can run away fairly easy with all the different things. Remember, Leatherface is the only family member that is down in the basement at the very beginning, so it's pretty easy to escape him because all you have to do is shimmy through certain objects that he can't fit through or through these little holes there. There's many, many different ways for you to actually be able to get out of his line of sight. He's not as fast as you are. Actually, no, no character is really as fast as you are, especially when you're sprinting, so... But you gotta remember that does require stamina. So, as you'll see here, in order to be able to get out of the basement, you have to find a lock. Now, these locks are in random in different places. You can actually get more than one lock. Here, I can grab this lock, and then I can immediately go and grab another lock. Now, some people might say, well, what's the point in that? Well. For, there's instances where the cook is a specific family member or a villain that can place padlocks on three doors. So there might be some doors that have two locks. One is a regular lock and the second be a padlock. So in that case, it's always good to have two locks on you. However, maybe you want to save that second spot for a health. Well, the enemies don't actually deal a lot of damage during regular gameplay. It's not until your health is either completely down 
or your stamina is down or you fall over and you need to recover that is when you're essentially you know probably dead on the spot so as long as you're in the green you're 100 percent good you can take a few a few slashes and you'll probably go to yellow but that what yellow means is essentially you're kind of on a ticking time bomb so throughout the entire map you're not healthy you've taken a lot of damage throughout this entire thing even if you've never been touched so you're going to die so the whole point is for you to escape in order to get help so keep that in mind that you can't just outlive the enemy because eventually you will die right you do have moments of where if you lose your health and it's not to an enemy hitting you or something similar to that nature then you're able to recover and then you can gain a slither of health back and then you need to find a health kit because once you die that second time that's it game over so this is why i like sunny because he's able to see just like this right here so we can actually tell where they're coming from and we can try to be smart <laughs> these things here as long as you're slow they will not see you uh the front gate the journey's turned now when you see this yellow game. icon around actually, what that means is an enemy is close to you and then when it gets red he's right on you now the cook can actually drag you out of here but he cannot take you down only leatherface can kill you at that instant so don't be afraid if you have an enemy that's next to you and you get inside one of those things you can slam doors uh, in their faces that's another thing now notice how this door was open so I decided to take it instead of going out the window notice here I have a health so I'm gonna use it I'm in the red but now I'm back in the yellow so their attention right now is essentially on that enemy out there so I can be smart wait here and we're gonna be patient as you can see, nobody knows I'm right here. This is what's great about this game, Shut is him. Jason can't automatically know where you are because we're not playing Friday 13th, and I'm just using the logic of what they did in their previous game, is they don't know where you are if you are smart. They will never know where you are if you are smart. The cook is the only one that it can actually be able to tell where you are by listening. Then you have Grandpa that he does his little seismic activity, and then boom. Notice how all of them are going back into the house. Perfect. Because guess what? The first rule of being a family member or the villains is to turn on the generators. And of course, thank you for not turning on the generator. Now you can see the generator is right there to the left. You can always tell if you're good to go by the color that you see. It says green. Green means go. So no enemies out here. They all win and chase that other guy in there. And I am now the lacked the last victim standing and we were able to escape i'm going to be showing videos off of each individual family member as well and show you some tips and strategies on how to take out enemies and just have fun in the game so if you like videos like this please let me know don't forget to comment below hit that like button and share 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 thank you all so much for tuning into the video love you all thank you to patreons and members for making these videos possible and we'll see you on the next one peace out